So many of us struggle with trying to find peace in our lives. In a world that is often crazy, chaotic, and in general not a fan of Jesus and his teaching. But that is not where we find our peace, not in the world. Jesus also warns us about how the world can make us lose our faith. When you are going through a moment of uncertainty in your life, most Christians will tell you to give it to God. And I agree with that statement. We should always bring our worries and fears to God. Keep in mind that everyone has a challenging situation in life and living with them properly will help your mental state much more than bitterness and resentment. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 16 verse 24 that anyone who wanted to come after him must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. I know some of you sometimes can almost sense the heaviness of pressure mounting and the worrying presence of darkness around you. You recognize the enemies at work again. Whether he's trying to discourage you, to fall into temptation, to give up, or to take your eyes off God, he is always hanging around. Today I want to let you know I understand what you're going through. The problem you are having is not because you do not trust God. As I take a look at my life, I see how much God has blessed me. I have a good job, although stressful, I am grateful for it. I have a beautiful wife, a wonderful children, a nice house. We are all well with no sickness. What a blessing from my Lord Jesus Christ. With all these wonderful blessings in my life, at times I find myself not at peace. I understand some might say there is a sin in your life you need to confess. I can assure you that is not the case. I know the Bible tells me in Romans 5 verse 1, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And in John 14, verse 27, the word of God says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. With these promises of peace from God, why at times am I not at rest? Why at times I feel so troubled? If you are going through what I am going through, I want you to know it's a spiritual attack. It is not because you do not have trust in God. Please understand the enemy is after you. I know the enemy is attacking your mind. For me, the more time I was spending in prayer, the closer I was drawing to God, the more attack that came my way from the enemy. Your mind is the territory, and that is the first place the enemy will attack. So how do I protect my mind in this spiritual warfare? Sadly, many people do not even realize they are entangled in a spiritual battle. Every problem begins in the mind. Every sin starts with the thought. You can protect your mind from spiritual warfare when you recognize the enemy's goal. Understand that the battle will come in personal attack, inserting fear in you and playing with your mind. You need to know you have protection from God with his spiritual armor. Remember you have a weapon, the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. In 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 6, the Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. And in Philippians 4 verse 8, the Bible helps us understand how to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. The Bible says, Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Whether you realize it or not, we live in the midst of spiritual battle. Our enemy, the devil, is dangerous, destructive, and determined to keep us from effectively serving God. In order to defend ourselves against his attack, we need to know how the enemy operates. The enemy comes in like a flood, trying to fill us with fear, doubt, and discouragement. He tries to bring division in our relationships. But our God always has victory when we trust in Him and walk in His peace. Psalm 144 verse 1 says, 
Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. And in Exodus 15 verse 3, the Bible says, The Lord is a mighty warrior. The Lord is his name. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 6 through 7, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with gratitude. Make your request known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will fill your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Stay focused on Jesus, not your problems. Do not dwell on the negative, scary situation in your life. When fear is its head, remember God promised peace. When depression tries to overwhelm you, remember God promised joy will come. True inner peace comes from God's presence and power in our lives. Today we're going to pray to find God's peace in times of stress and worry. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, where two or more gather, there you will be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. Heavenly Father, I praise you for giving me peace that surpasses human understanding through Christ Jesus. May your peace fill my mind today and bring rest and renewal. Help me avoid things that take away my peace and leave me feeling upset. Teach me to set my mind on the things the Spirit desires, because the mind governed by your Spirit is life and peace. Show me how to give more room to your Spirit to direct my mind each day. Help me to hold thoughts captive that do not align with your Word and fill my mind with your promises. Heavenly Father, I come to you this day. My heart is troubled. I ask that you stretch your hands of peace to my life today in Jesus' name. I ask for your grace even in moment of trouble, even when it seems like solutions are not coming. Grant me the grace to be strong in Jesus' name. Lord God, I have almost everything that I needed. However, my mind still knows no peace. I pray that you will give me inner peace in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak to every situation in my life that is hell-bent on destroying my peace of mind. I destroy them by the power of the name of Jesus. Lord God, I know that I am nothing without your power. I am nothing without your presence. I hereby seek your power. Lord, grant me your power in Jesus' name. Heavenly King of glory, I invite you to come to take the wheel of my life. I grant you the undeniable access to guide my life in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word says, Declare a thing and it shall be established. Lord, I decree peace to every turmoil in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for grace that will lift me above my challenges, grace that will lift me above all my problems in Jesus' mighty name. I destroy the agenda of the enemy to take away my peace of mind in the name of Jesus. The scripture says, Surely they shall gather, but for our sake they shall fall and be scattered. I destroy all their plans to end my peace of mind by the power in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I ask that you restore unto me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a free spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against every trouble or pain that has been designed by the kingdom of darkness over my life by the blood of Jesus Christ. For it has been written, My peace have I given unto you, not like the world give unto you. So I ask that the Prince of Peace continually dwell in my house in Jesus' name. I decree the peace of God Almighty into my marriage. I decree peace into my financing. I decree peace into my health. And I decree peace of God into my career by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for every man and woman who needs prayer today. I speak peace into their situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every situation in their lives that need to be touched I ask that you begin to touch them right now in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. I invite the King of glory and peace into the situation in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for answered prayer. Thank you because things have been touched and situation will turn around for good in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I completely surrender myself to you, Heavenly Father, as a living sacrifice. I choose not to be conformed to this world, but choose to be transformed by the renewing of my mind, that I may prove that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 
Father, I pray that you will show me your will and enable me to walk in the fullness of your will for my life. I pray that your power of your anointing shall be upon me and that when the enemy comes against me one way, the Holy Spirit will force him to flee from before me seven ways. I pray and believe that every trap the enemy sets for me will backfire on him and work out for my good, which is for your glory. For you said all things work together for the good for those who love the Lord, who are called according to your purpose. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. I am thankful, Heavenly Father, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, to the casting down of imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and to bring my every thought captive into obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, in my own life, the name of Jesus tears down every stronghold of Satan and bind the enemy's plans that have been formed against me and cast them out of my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every stronghold of Satan against my mind and I surrender my mind to you, Lord. And I ask, please let your mind be in me as it is in Christ Jesus. Father, please allow the Holy Spirit to rest upon me, the spirit of wisdom and revelation, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge of the fear of the Lord, and give me quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And Father, let me not judge after the sight of my own eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of my ears. Father, please take the call and cleanse my lips so that no evil or corrupt communication will proceed from them, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearer, set the captives free, and glorify the almighty living God. Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I thank you, Jesus, for interceding for me and taking my prayers before your Father. I thank you for giving me victory this day. I lift up the name of Jesus, and I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. I thank you now, Lord, for my deliverance, and I will shout victory now, for this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Loving God, please grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. My soul cannot seem to find balance, so I stumble and worry constantly. Give me the strength and clarity of mind to find my purpose and walk the path you have laid out for me. I trust your love and know that you will heal me this stress. Just as the sun rises each day against a dark night, please bring me into clarity with the light of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.